Hey guys, I am Kiro Kiro, and welcome to a very special Splunky Daily Challenge. As you can probably tell from the scoreboard seen on the screen, today we are doing a Splunky Versus with, with the Penske File and Hibikaye Mr. Falcon. Now in the last Daily Challenge, I absolutely decimated my opponents by getting a $1.1 million run by going to the Mothership, getting the Plasma Cannon, and then proceeding to ghost every single gem available in the temple. Now the footage from that video, as well as the footage from Hibikaye Mr. Falcon's video, we're over an hour long, and we have all sort of congruently come to the same conclusion. Ghosting sucks. It's long, it's boring, nobody wants to watch it, so for today's challenge, we decided to add a few extra rules. Now, in a typical daily challenge, we all compete for to see who can get the highest score. However, we are going to be going back to Splunky's roots and seeing who can make it the furthest, with defeating King Yama being better than dying to King Yama, and defeating Omek being better than dying to Omek. Now, in the event that we have a tie where we all, for instance, defeat King Yama, the tiebreaker will be decided by whoever has the lowest score. So we will hopefully be seeing some no gold run tactics coming into play in today's challenge. With that being said, let's get all this stuff off my screen, get back to the main menu, and let's get today's daily challenge started. Now, for my practice runs, I've been using the purple pirate lady, so she's going to be my avatar for today's challenge. And hopefully um, we can make things happen, hopefully we can actually make it to Hell, which is my preferred endpoint, however, I've had some really BS runs in my practice runs, so... Here was hoping I don't die in the mines, look at the video, if it's more than 10 minutes long, then we've made progress. Now, as far as tactics are concerned for this kind of run, there are arrow traps. There are two strategies that come to mind. The first being that you need to you know, kind of contradictory to what I've said before about this being a low score run, you need to ghost as much as you can in the first couple of levels to get as much money as you can, so that you can just buy whatever you need from the shopkeepers. The strength of this uh, kind of tactic means that when the shops appear in the later levels, say in the Ice Mines and in potentially in the Temple, which is you know, a little bit rarer, but it can still happen, you can drop as much money as you can and drop your score down by just buying items from the shop. It doesn't even need to be items you need, you just need to drop money. However, this kind of tactic has a very gratuitous risk involved. Now, for those of you that you know are familiar with Splunky and know how much how much an ass can be sometimes, occasionally what will happen is either a snail or say a boomerang man will attack a shopkeeper and you will be inadvertently blamed for it. Monty's still alive, thank you, Meat Shield. I didn't even see that arrow trap. Now, you can't get inadvertently blamed for attacking a shopkeeper, at which point the strategy will basically go down the tube. You can no longer drop all your money, and then you'll be allowed for this huge sack of gold, which you cannot use. The other strategy is what I am currently working on, because the prior strategy requires that you use ghosting, and uh, I've come to the point where I hate ghosting with a pretty much burning passion. So what I'm trying to do here is gather as much money as I can so that I can purchase the things that I need from the shops without having to anger them. So things like bombs, potentially maybe a jetpack or some climbing gloves, at least until I can get to the black market, if I make it to the black market. Let's not count my chickens before they hatch, but you know that is my ideal to at least stay alive as long as possible. Anytime I see a shop, I want to drop as much money as I can within reason. I don't want to spend all my money in case the next floor has a jetpack or um, something else that I might like. And, you know, thankfully we've got our Uja that right off the bat. Let's see, um, Bomb Box or Climbing Glove. I would rather take the Climbing Glove because that's going to help my mobility, and we're going to see about this Bomb Box. Hopefully we'll be able to find enough money to be able to afford it. I don't need that much either, so I will be, I am willing to pop down a rope, just so I can come back up and buy that. Is it going to be enough? Not really. Still need another 500. So we will... Let's see, I think we'll bomb out this part right down here to liberate enough money for me to buy that bomb box. That should be enough. Because one bomb in order to buy a bomb box is definitely worthwhile. So now I'm down to 100, which is, you know, pretty good. If I can maintain that for the rest of the run, I would. But we need to uh, be able to purchase other things from the shops. Now, the, uh, the risk associated with this is that 
Once you reach the black market and once you start murdering shopkeepers, again, you will lose the ability to drop your money count, and murdering shopkeepers produces an incredible amount of gold. Let's see if I can sacrifice this thing. Make it, make it, make it, make it! Yes! Easy sacrifice. That's gonna get us some extra favor for calling. Um, I mean, what was I saying? Right, the, uh, the black market. You lose any chance of being able to drop any more money from beyond that point, and Burden Shopkeepers has a tendency of procuring a very large amount of gold. Ah, let's kill the spider. And as you progress through the levels, the amount of gold you're going to be receiving from all of the shopkeepers and from, you know, just general other bullshit that procures from this game, for anyone that has done a no gold run and know how annoying it is, you can end up procuring a very large amount of gold by the time you reach hell. Okay, let's see, let's just put a bomb right there that will allow us to use our paste. Stuff like that, like where the where gems just, just get thrown at you for no reason. I believe we can afford a kiss at this point. However, I'm going to hang on to my money in case something else better comes along. I'm actually very glad that we have the Ujjay like this early in the game. Because it's one less thing I have to think about. In this kind of run where we're all competing just for who can get the furthest, the U Jedi and the there are ropes inside the uh, wall. That's kind of interesting. I don't really need the ropes, but yeah, it's not really worth the bomb. In this kind of run where we're trying to measure who can get the furthest, getting the U Jedi and making it to the black market are super critical. It is unbelievably critical that we pull these things off because otherwise, the most we're going to be able to do is get to Omic. And as long as one person makes it to hell, there's, you have no chance of winning beyond that. And there are a lot of scorpions on this run, that's uh, kind of strange. Me. Yeah. The same is true with uh, making sure that you die on the right level as well, so basically doing this right... It feels a lot more like actual Spelunky, compared to, you know, just ghosting everything and... Constantly murdering the shopkeepers. You can go away, please, thank you. And we're just going to go straight for the exit, we don't need to do anything else here. So once we reach the black market, we have to go into super focus mode. Because if we miss this black market, we are essentially screwed, unless everyone else just has a terrible, terrible day with their challenges. Teleporter! No, no, no. <laughs> there is no freaking way I'm using a teleporter on a run like this. Okay, let's keep an eye out for our Tiki Huts. I hate the Tiki Huts. It's the worst possible level I can imagine. I don't like going through them ever. However, free crate. So you go into that hole, I'm gonna take this crate and it has a machete. I don't want it. That was a waste of my time and effort. Ugh, this frog is in a bad spot. Please blow up. So, this also means that we're going to have to explore these uh, later levels the, in the jungle as much as possible because there's a risk that we're going to miss it. On a couple of my practice runs, they ended all prematurely because I ended up missing the black market. Haha, <laughs> nice. Speaking of my practice runs, I just had a whole bunch of like bullshit ones too. I, am, I had quite a few where I died. Die, die, die. I had quite a few where I died in the mines, which, you know, I'm really thankful that they weren't the run that, that counted. As well as several where uh, I couldn't find the black market. There's a black market that you're right next to Monty. Um, I don't want to use a bomb for the... Do I want to use a bomb for the sake of potential uh, spring shoes? Maybe. I'm going to put a bomb here anyways. And he didn't die. That's, that's fantastic. Come closer. There we go. That'll do it. Please give me spring shoes. No spring shoes. You're an ass. Would you at least drop the thing you're supposed to drop? Okay. Yeah. Stupid damage. So, from here on out, we're going to be proceeding to phase two of my master plan, which is buy things in the black market, drop my store as much as possible, and then from there on, we just have to be careful not to pick up any gold. So, take a look at the time, we're at 7 minutes, compared to, what were the other ones, an hour and 40 minutes for me, and then, ugh, hired herp, I don't want hired herp, it's bull. 
Okay, we need to be cautious in the sports. There's a jetpack. That's beautiful. How much is it? 28. Okay, that's not too bad. That would help me out quite a bit. Actually, I'm gonna buy. That's what I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna take the jetpack. And we need another 3,500 worth, I think. And that can be done with the ropes, I believe. Any bomb bags? I'd rather have the bomb bag. Just as a just in case. We'll take this, please. Thank you. Bomb bag. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we are down to $225, which is pretty low. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to blow up this part right here to increase the amount of space. And from there we attack the shop. Yes, and the higher turret died too. It's beautiful. Okay, so now they're all angry down there, so which means I can now clear up this whole top part of the whole 12 bombs, but whatever. And now we just need to focus on our survivability. Just stay alive through this black market. Okay, he's now dead. And we also need to keep a good eye out for any... Come on, die. Damn it. Come on, just fall. There we go. That should do it. Come on, stay still. Well, either way, we'll dig a pit for this man. He can just fall to his death. Okay, I think that's it. That's everything on this floor that we have to deal with. There should be a shotgun right here. So see, like, stuff like this, I'm gonna be picking up money like crazy from here on out. Every single time a shopkeeper dies. So we have to do our best to mitigate. Please die. I don't know how we got... Oh, you got free. That's really bad for us, actually. Okay, how do I want to do this? Like that? Die? No? Die now? There we go. Oh my god, this guy is such an asshole. So let's not get hit by the shotgun. We'll throw three bombs down to take care of our Ankh vendor. And he's still alive. Fuck you. Okay, how do I want to do this? We just have to hope that we stick him with a bomb, basically. Okay, he's not dead yet. So, oh god, and the ghost is coming too. Just die, please. Please don't send gold my way either. Push that over. Oh my goodness grief. And they're still alive down there. That's... Okay. Seems like they're dead. So while we're not going to be doing any ghosting, we do still have to deal with the ghost though, which is going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, he's gone. Perfect. So instead, we will just bomb our way back down. We have some extra bombs for it, but we can't be too liberal with them. It's not an ideal for me to have 29 bombs, but at the same time, I'll take it. The last practice run I had, I had no bombs when I went into hell, and it was uh, basically what ended my run. Well, strictly speaking, what actually ended my run was I got hit by one of the giant iron balls, and that sent me into a pile of spikes. Which is great. Best way to end the run, I had 25 health too. So if it had not been for that, I probably would have been able to defeat King Yon without any problems. Okay, let's just get on out of here. 2,000 isn't too bad. Let's just pop down here really safely. There's nothing down here, and we are done. So we are currently moving into phase two of the master plan here, which is to avoid gold like the freaking plague. And what a plague it is. This is bringing back all my memories of the no gold run. Whew. And thankfully we also have the compass too, so this is going to make uh, locating the exit a lot easier as well. Oh wow, this is a terrible setup. Look at all those spikes, jeez. Ooh, free, uh, free, free crates. I'm, I'm so down for this. More bombs, fantastic. And I will use a bomb to go grab Monty. Hopefully I didn't kill Monty with that, there we go. Now, is there any- oh, there's a sacrificial. They're sacrificing, that can be done here, that's perfect. So we'll drop off our dog at the, um, the, the daycare center, right? We're just dropping the dog at the daycare center, right? You didn't go missing, I don't know what you're talking about. Aspects, yeah, not really what I'm looking for, but uh, I'll take it. Plus we get some extra favor with Kali, get us closer to the Kapala, which will hopefully show up at some point. Now, where's our exit? Directly below. 
so that bottom area is fine. Yeah, whatever, I'll just bomb my way down. I have the resources, I should be using them. Okay, let's just deal with our shopkeeper and then I can go back to talking about other things. Like killing this man. That's a thing I can do. No, fuck you. Fuck you, monkey. Oh, as a side note, you, it is a viable strategy to just use the monkey to drop as much gold as you can, but that method is just so unbearably grinding that hopefully none of us are going to bother doing it that way. I mean, it's really, really grindy. Okay, shopkeeper, what is your problem? Oh, you're trapped. Okay, let's uh, let's just do something about that. So hopefully, oh, he's dead. Even better. I was gonna say that uh, he could. Yeah, no more gold. I don't want more gold. I was gonna say he could just you know jump out and go be free in the remainder of the jungle. You know, this is a pretty um kind C to be honest with you. Some of my practice ones were incredibly trollish with layout. So there would be things like. The black marker not showing up until 2-3, making you completely paranoid for the remainder of the level. When I made when I eventually did make it down to I believe it was the temple area. Eventually there's this one part where you have to kill Anubis in order to pro progress further. Here's the here's the best part though. It was a um it was a dark level. And you wanna know where Anubis was? In the in the far left corner of the screen. In a dark level, separated by a lava pit. So, I basically went through the entire level, couldn't figure out where he was, until I eventually had no choice but to go look for it. I'm like, oh, here he is, well, no wonder. So, we will grab our dog, that is going to improve our longevity, assuming that we don't do anything stupid, like fall on spikes. And that is going to be the level, we're onto the ice caves. What are we sitting at right now? 2300. That's actually pretty good. I think my best in my practice runs, I think, was around... Uh, I think about 4000 by the time I got to King Yama. But I'm not entirely sure. It actually might have been t maybe 14000. I'm not entirely sure. So we'll murder that. And we need to deal with him. Uh, some health would be nice, but it's not overly mission critical since we do need to murder ourselves on the later levels. So basically we're just looking for crates that could potentially have bomb boxes or maybe... What else could we possibly need? A bomb box is really all that I would really want right now. So I'll just check up here really quick. No such crates to be had, which is fairly disappointing, but not game-breaking. Let's see, anything else worth grabbing? Nope. So, let's make sure that we don't get hit by the shopkeeper. As long as we can just make it to the next level, we should be okay. Oh, he's dead. Even better. And I'm not big about this gold sitting here, but we don't really have much of a choice unless I decide to... Yeah, I'll use a bomb for this. Who knows, it might be the gold that makes a difference. You know, I'm more or less expecting uh, at least Mr. Falcon to make it to the end and defeat King Yama. Penske File has been having a series of pretty terrible runs lately, but you know he could also easily make it to King Yama. So these tiny little bits of gold can make all the difference. Okay, we need to keep an eye out for our Moji head. And looks like we also have a shrine. This little folk could please die. That'd be fantastic. I don't need things exploding near this... Uh, this ancient shrine here. So, okay, we do die on this floor. Perfect. And there's our Kapala. We'll use the Yetis to get some extra favor going. Let's see here. What can I talk about while I just kind of farm Yetis here? So, in one of the uh, previous daily challenges, or maybe it was an episode, I don't even remember anymore, but I was talking about how I was playing Lunatic Mode on in Fire Emblem Awakening. Mother, you're fine. Yeah, you're totally fine. And it's ridiculously difficult. It's so difficult that just making it past the tutorial is... It actually took me, I think, about maybe two hours to do. And that was entirely just through, like, the trial and error process of it. And for the most part, going through the game like that, there's only one really feasible option you can really take. So I thought to myself, you know, it can't possibly be that bad. 
and the hard modes of the game, he's dead. In the hard modes of the game, once you reach a certain point, you can summon spot pass teams to the world's overmap. And by fighting them, you can essentially earn free experience. However, when I eventually got to that point in lunatic mode, you know how much experience you can earn on those maps? One. You get one experience for every action you do, including killing enemies. So, the minute I saw that, I'm like, well, I guess I can't grind anymore. Turns out the only way you can actually grind in that... in lunatic mode is to... use DLC. Now, while I don't really mind it that much, because the DLC is fairly cheap, it just makes the game unnecessarily grindy. And I'll take this, and we are done. So, let's just go ahead and blow ourselves up. Eh, whatever, this will work too. Now, let's not do what I did last time. In one of my practice runs, I went through the door without the hedges. Let's not be a noob about that. It's like such a rookie mistake, right? So eventually I got kind of tired of grinding in Fire Emblem and decided, hey, there's a uh, copy of... Uh, this man needs to die. And this one too. Eventually I got tired of the grinding and just went over to uh, play Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, which has been sitting on my desk for a good while. I haven't quite gone around to playing it for whatever reason. And I started playing it, and even though it's only on normal mode, it just felt more Fire Emblem-y, if that's even a word. You know, like, it's not grindy, it's not... it's still difficult, mind you, but... The fact that you can't grind... just makes it feel more normal, like it's, like, like it's a natural game. Whereas in Fire Emblem, like, you can still do that, it's entirely your choice whether you grind or whether you don't grind. But it doesn't... It feels weird. It doesn't feel quite as good as it should be. Now well, let's just murder this. Oh no, it's gonna blow up. And I really should have grabbed that man's shotgun. That was silly of me. Either way, we are pretty much done with this floor. Now the way this kind of pertains to Spelunky in various aspects is that, you know, while you can ghost, and ghosting is the ideal thing to do if you're trying to maximize your score, it just doesn't feel like a Spelunky at all. You know, like, you know, a big part of Spelunky is, you know, exploring things, trying things out for yourself, and just getting accustomed to the levels, getting better at the game. But, ghosting doesn't really require a whole lot of skill, it just requires good, careful planning, and that was, oh, that was stupid of me. Oh well. Uh, let's not die on spikes. Is there anything up there that can shoot me? No. Now, let's see. Where was my train of thought at? Oh, sweet. The uh, shotgun's already there. Perfect. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to take some gold for it, though. There we go. Let's just leave. I guess I could have farmed blood, too. I really should have done that. But this is one of the things I really noticed when I was doing my practice runs doing this. Is that... You know, it just felt... It felt like actual Splunky. This thing's kind of an ass, so I'm gonna move it. And you know, like you... Uh, the, the target should always be to try and defeat... Yeah, defeat Hell and defeat King Yama. I don't know why I opened up that chest, just for the shit and giggles, I suppose. Because even when you get good at this game, like, you'll still make silly mistakes. I would, like... Bananasaurus Rex makes stupid mistakes, you know, Northern Lion makes stupid mistakes, and... Okay, this is interesting. Um... Let's see here, I need to free that man, so let's open this up. Let's just... Oh, nice! Oh, that was so close! Oh my goodness grief, that was so close! I almost crushed the chef... The, yeah, the scepter? The scepter, I almost crushed the, the scepter. Holy jeez. Okay, I need to be careful now. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Come on. And let's open this up a little bit. Well, I pretty much almost single... Very, e I could have very easily destroyed my chance of getting to hell. And this man kind of needs to die. Where is he? Can I just pop down here, grab it, and leave? I don't want to just leave. Now let's see, what can we do about this? 
we'll blow up the Thwomp for sure, and then we'll just drop down instead. So he can go run away. Come on, trigger, 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 trigger. Whew! Yeah, this is much better for a challenge. 21 minutes versus an hour? Please let the door be close by. Please let the close speed door by. Door? Exit? 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 Dog? Exit? Come on, guys. Point it out to me when you see it. I guess it could form blood, too. Uh, this could be a bit of an issue. Let's, uh, we'll use a bomb here. That will allow us to get Monty. And there is an ultra right here. So we'll get our invigoration, I believe. So we'll drop that down. Grab our dog. Okay, there's a door. That's uh, that makes things much easier for me. So let's drop down carefully. Get our invigoration. Um, I can form blood in the gold area. In the gold city. Come on. There we go. That should take care of the thwomp. And we're out of here. Now, can I farm some blood? It's easier to do it here where there's no gold. And I think I can. So I need to use some bombs to make that happen, though. So I'll throw one down right there. And as long as I just kind of hang out right here, like I'm pretty close. There we go. I'm gonna just hang out here and just form blood. So let's just hang out here until the ghost shows up. Because, you know, like, this really does make a difference later on because if you're not concerned about your health, hell just becomes so much easier. Of course, you can still die on spikes, which is how my last run ended. <sighs> I don't even care. 25, that's, uh, that seems good. And we'll grab this crate, and that should be it. Web gun. Let's bring the web gun with us. <laughs> Why not? The web gun percent run. That was actually one of my favorite DLA challenges, just because it was so ridiculously stupid that I brought a webcam with me to hell. Could I actually bring this to hell with me? I could. Uh, this... Okay, there's no way for me to do this without using a bomb, so we'll use this one bomb to also get the crate that's over here. Hopefully he'll obtain bombs. What do you got for me? Ropes. Okay, that's fine. You know, we don't have, like, a, a gargantuan amount of... Please fall. We don't have a gargantuan amount of uh, resources right now. Oh, stupid, more gold. Ah, we gotta go to the other side by the looks of it. Ugh, no! Go oh, wait. No, 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 don't stun like me. Don't stun like me into things. Please, fuck, fuck you, fuck. Running! I'm not even sure how I kill that insect. Don't even care. Okay, so there's our Book of the Dead. Our score just skyrocketed because of that stupid, uh... Ugh, hawk man. And that should be about it. This is all we really need to do. I will... blow this up. Just because it's in the way. And it's gonna free up the shotgun. I'd rather have the shotgun. So we'll grab this. And we'll whip this away. Time to use the uh, gold run strats. I'm gonna pause the game really quick because my frame rate seems to be dropping. Let's see if it pops back up. It did. Okay, so we're just gonna grab the Book of the Dead and just leave. I knew this the second is just considerably easier to deal with on the Omic level because there's more space to walk around and you can just kill him with either a shotgun or you can just use the spike juice. Either way, it still looks like it's going to be at least about a half hour run, which isn't too bad. Ooh, and we actually have a decent amount of crates this time. So... We'll just kill him. And let's check up above to see what kind of... Wow, there's a lot of crates. Again, much of the practice runs I have are really trollish. They only gave me like two crates for the entire top. So this is pretty promising. 
was kind of curious as to how, what uh, kind of other strategies that either Penske File or Hippie Games or Falcon are going to be using for this kind of run. Like, I, think, I don't think any of us have really done this kind of run before, where we try to minimize the amount of gold that we get. Double paste, okay. My bombs are now twice as sticky. Which is good, because I now have three of them. Uh, one more up there. Oh my god. Fucking recoil. Well, it's still not the worst score I have. Well, not the worst score. It's still not the uh, highest score I've had. Now, where is our Book of the Dead active? It looks like it's active right pretty much smack in the middle. No, it's on the uh, left. A little bit more of the left. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to lower all my to the right, and we'll just plant bombs down to build our hole. Come on, Omic. Okay, right here. Perfect. Now we have plenty of bombs to make this happen, because... Also in my practice runs, I've had several instances where I didn't have bombs, and defeating Omic bombless is surprisingly difficult. So, let's see. Two more should do the trick. Let's see. One... Here. One here. Come on, frame rate. Don't don't fail me now. Now let's see. We'll uh, we'll omic. Okay, on frame rate. Thank you. Let's see if omic will just fall in naturally. Before if I have to reset him a little bit, I need to reset him a little bit. Just about to do it. One more. Is he gonna fit? Yep. And we're in hell! So, assuming that any one of my opponents has... You know, lost the Ankh prematurely, then they have officially lost all chance of losing. But this... Oh my god, this is terrible. I need to get the Vlad. We'll have to do it from below. Which kinda sucks. Oh wow, I can't even do it from below. Okay, let's empty this out then. And let's see, we will empty that one out. Fucking gold. <laughs> nice. I love that they all just fall flat. So let's murder this vampire. And the bat. Oh, this is a terrible spot for spikes. Okay, that takes care of the spikes at least. And one to deal here. I just need to get that amulet. I don't care about anything else. Let's kill Vlad too, just to be safe. He's kind of an asshole. Okay, let's see. Now I need the amulet, which is right here. Now you can actually pick this up without picking up the gold, just by hovering directly over it. Now let's see, can I kill these vampires with any problems? Yep. Let's see, anything else I gotta deal with? This side's actually gonna be a lot easier to... to walk down compared to the other areas. Please die. Thank you. Now, there are spikes at the end, but that's fine. So we'll put a bomb right here. Open up ourselves a path. Not doing terribly. We're still alive. Just don't fall on spikes. <sighs> it's actually been a really long time since I've been to hell, like, in this kind of setting. So I'm pretty nervous right now. So let's see, let us drop a bomb there. Fuck off. And we can just drop down and hit the shopkeeper with a bomb. There's a bomb box right there, actually. Come on, get hit by something. Uh, let's open this up. Oh my god, I'm out of bombs! I just was I'm out of bombs. Well, I have to get that bomb box now. So let's just anger him. Maybe he'll fall on spice or something. Oh my god, there's a terrible chill. We gotta leave. Don't care about the gem, don't care about the gem. Just eat the bombs and leave. Eesh. You gotta remember to keep an eye on your bomb count too. I keep forgetting about that. I'm so used to having all these bombs ready and available for me. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got to work with here. Let's move this away. 
and let's empty this out. I don't want to go through that. That looks terrible. That looks absolutely terrifying to me. Okay, our exit is further down. Let's just kill all of this. And the scumbag vampire. Uh, Shocker is angry. That's fine. If he can just kill himself on some spikes or something, that'd be fan- Oh, he's dead. Perfect. Nah, no, I don't want more gold. It's so easy to pick up gold at this point. It really is. Now they have to murder the shopkeepers at every single exit. Then they litter their gold on the floor. I mean, how eco-friendly is that? Really. Like, it's not. This is terrible. Um... Let's go around, maybe. Eat. Eee. 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 Vampire. Very glad there wasn't spikes or anything like that. I was very concerned about that. Okay, we need to make it to the other side. Let's flip this gold out of the way. Okay, let's just pop on up. Pop on down. I think we're in the clear. We're so close. I can taste... I can taste it. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I need to somehow get this man hit. Let's throw some bombs down. And he's dead. Perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get up, 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 get I'm alive. I shouldn't be, but I'm alive. Come on, make it! Whew! Man, that sucks. I went from 2,000 to 15,000. I can only hope that my competitors are also doing poorly on the, uh, on the score scale here. And by poorly, I hope that their scores are as high as possible because, you know, I like them, you know, they're my friends, you know, you gotta be supportive of them and shoot them in the face. So I'll take this. We're very close to killing Yama, so let's just get rid of this and this. Oh, wow, that's a totally weird spot for that. Okay, um, just take care of all of our enemies first. And get rid of the spikes, because that can screw us over. Throw that there. I'm going to move that pot out of the way. I feel like that's going to screw me over somehow. And what do we got up here? Is, there, is it safe up here? Kind of. So this vampire needs to die. Okay, how am I going to do this? I'm going to put a rope... Not a rope, I'm going to put a bomb right there. Drop down here, let that explode. And we throw ropes up this way. One more. He's gonna flop his fist, that's fine. I'm gonna drop down a little bit. Let that blow up. Throw up another rope. And just start shooting. Do 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 do. Oh, we're done. Okay, bye. Suck it! Suck it! Take it! Woo well, we beat Yama. <laughs> oh, that was uh, surprisingly easy, actually. Yeah, 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 we've heard this spiel before, gang. Now, the bonus is going to be the same for everyone, which is pretty much why, you know, defeating Yama is going to be better than dying on Yama, because... You're obviously going to always get the extra 100,000 from this. So at least this way, if Penske File and Mr. Falcon do also beat King Yama, we also all receive the same bonus. Yeah, that's not too bad. Half an hour. Half an hour and 35, 34 minutes. Remember the scumbag. So I think I'm uh, the first one to be doing this for today. It's, you know, it's still fairly early on in the day. And I believe if you hit, can you actually check the user details? I don't believe so. That's a shame. But essentially you should be able to tell whether or not they defeat 
um, hell if they have over 100,000, because you should be fairly conservative with your money in the second half of the game. So please go check out the Penske File and Yippee Mr. Falcon's videos. I will post a link to their videos in the description once they become available. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. And if you also have any ideas for what we can do for our daily challenge versus matches, please leave a comment in the section below. So until next time, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day.